Hey, what's up, gummies? Well, I found some contamination on some of my cuttings. I kind of went about this the wrong way, if you remember right. <clears throat> I'm not new to mushroom culture, but I'm, I am rusty, and I am brand new to plant tissue culture. It's different in the fact that you use different hormones to manipulate the growth of your plants. Sometimes you just want them to grow root mass. Sometimes you want them to grow uh, tons of branches making miniature mother plants. Sometimes you want them to grow roots so that uh, you can transplant them into a pot. Well, what I got here is OG 18 Taken about three weeks ago. And it's just got some, what looks to me like, yeast contamination. I haven't opened it up yet, so. What I want to do is try to pull out the pieces that have not been contaminated, that have nothing growing on them. And put them in these little tubes of fresh multiplication media until they grow up and fill out the tube. You should take one little piece and put it in one tube. That way, if one piece is contaminated, you don't ruin a whole batch of five. I have a cup of bleach solution here. This will be good to sterilize my scalpel and my forceps. Huh, I said that backwards, but my forceps and my scalpel, which reminds me I need a blade. I got a blade and I got a bottle of isopropyl alcohol that I like to spray on stuff to sterilize my hands and everything. I'm always spraying my hands. Rubbing them together, rubbing the alcohol bottle, making sure it stays clean. I have my HEPA filter running in the background. What I'm going to do is take a little plate here, put some bleach water in it. And that's so I can uh, trim my X plants. That's what these are called, your little plants like these are called X plants. Well, the plants that I pull out of here, I'm going to put in this plate and trim off any dead leaves and excess leaves and get them all brand new again. Okay, I think we're ready now to open up our contaminated cultures. Let me put this on two times zoom. Try to open this as gently as possible. Uh, there we go. See that shiny spot there in the middle? That's yeast. That little spot there growing in the auger. Whoa. That's yeast as well. It's kind of pretty. I like it. It's shiny. Looks like a bubble. The plants themselves look good. The contamination didn't seem to have come from the plants. I don't 
haven't seen him hold on the plants themselves. Uh, looks like this one will be easy. Just cut off some that dead leaf on that one. The dead leaves on that one. And drop them in the tubes. Here's the other OG 18. None of them are contaminated except for one. And it's full of fuzzy mold. Just gonna grab one of these eggplants. Drop it in this bleach solution. Like so. Alright, it looks pretty good. I'm just going to cut the two brown leaves off of it. Brown leaf tips. That's it. Take my forceps, grab one of these clean plants. It don't show any contamination. Wash it around in the uh, bleach water. Wow. Look at the callus on this. See that swollen white mass right there? It's called callus. You can sometimes start what's called somatic embryogenesis from that callus. And what that is, is uh, brand new seedlings growing straight up out of the root mass. I'm going to cut that leaf off. Now this media has what's called a uh, plant preservative in it. So uh, it actually helped kill any bacteria or mold to keep the spores from sprouting. It said none of these really look contaminated. That's amazing. Look at the size of the stem on that baby. That was just a tiny stem when I started. That's almost one solid mass of callus tissue. I want you to look at this leaf. But this leaf was in the media. It's become a solid mass of callous tissue.
Okay. Yeah, cute little things. This is OG number 18. It's an old school strain. And it was started on 5 1. One more thing. Besides labeling it. Wrap it in drafting tape or parafilm. Drafting tape's a lot cheaper. I'll give you an update on the rest of my plants. The rest of my uh, tissue culture box. And here's some of what I've been up to for the last couple of weeks. Uh, here's the samples we just did right there. As you can see, they don't take much light. I do have them under a LED grow light. Turned all the way down. I got all my strains in here. Chimera 3, white truffle, gush mints, 34% cut, a platinum gorilla. Um, Oreos, Astro Chimp, Biscotti, OG number 18. Divine Banana. Then over here, let's see, five nine. It's taken uh, at least a little over two weeks ago. We got the Mac ones. It's hard to see them. But they're doing great. No contamination. The stems are swelling up on the bottom. That means the sugar is feeding them well. They don't need air or gas exchange because the sugar in the media is full of carbon. Super high carbon source. So that gives the plants the CO2 that they need. Let me turn the flash off, see if that helps. Hmm. I wish you could see those a little better. And then I have a... This is a Wandering Jew. It's been in here since 5.9. It turned the media brown. There's no contamination. Here's one from over three weeks ago, Pink Wrench. They're growing very well. Pink Wrench loves it in this media. So did the Gorilla Glue number four. It's starting to take off. It's what, 24 days old now? Oh, and by the way, those guys on Amazon, they have these lids back in stock. I got one back here. 
the first divine bananas and they're not doing so hot. In fact, they look like they all died. They're all brown. All except for that one back there. It's mostly brown too. But I forgot to check the pH in this media. If I remember right, it was supposed to be automatically set. I bought it as part of a kit. And, uh, so, but I don't know. But that's some of the stuff I got going on right now. Gromish trying to get all my strains established in the tissue culture. Trying to get past the stage one, which is introduction. Hope you guys are having a good week. I know I'm doing great. Super fantastic. I recently harvested me some seedless chimeras. And they're just now getting dry enough to smoke. It's awesome. Oh, and by the way, my Chimera S1 seeds, they are sprouting good. Good to go, good to go. I haven't tried anything else yet. But this is Chimera 3, an apple fritter. Lumpy's cut. A box full of photo crosses here, all across the Chimera 3, Cow Pie, Astro Chimp, Oreos, Platinum Gorilla, looks like that's about it. I got the Chimera 3's already listed, already separated. I got a 100% germination rate, so they're all strangling now. I'll put the link down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all are having a good week. And uh, keep on growing and stay independent. Thanks for watching.